Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from Electronics Eternity. Uh, so this time around we will be looking at uh, Node MCU ESP32. So this is a Wi-Fi module and uh, I feel that this module is, is quite powerful in comparison to uh, the ESP8266. So this module is, is definitely a bit larger because it, it comes with its own uh, microcontroller uh, as its processor right so uh, this is uh, to say Wi-Fi module with the microcontroller which is uh, already commonly known right so uh, this will be a very basic uh, tutorial on ESP32 just to get you started and, and get going with the tool all right uh, so with that being said uh, let's uh, get into the code that we are seeing here on the screen right so this code this program over here is basically to get uh, your uh, ESP 32s Mac and also the signal strength which is RSSI okay so uh, at, the, at the top we will include these two libraries and uh, uh, this is my connection over here and uh, okay actually I don't need this right okay I'm gonna remove that so this is the status okay so at the beginning we are setting the status as idle status and uh, for your information I have all the status listed in the program just in case if you want to make use of them in your uh, subsequent programs okay so these are all the status and it's definitely helpful when it comes to uh, you know it can comes to creating a logical processing in your code okay so these are the variables and these are the libraries that we need now let's go into our void setup so this is the serial communication baud rate uh, so while serial is has not begun then we just wait for it until it happens uh, then we are setting this Wi-Fi to a Wi-Fi station mode okay so uh, Wi-Fi can have can act as a uh, soft AP and also it can act as a station right so in this in this case we are using station okay uh, this is the statuses which I just mentioned and, and another one thing just to share right if you could see these examples all are actually there in the Wi-Fi library right but uh, somehow not everything in that library works you need to work something out so that you can make use of this program right so basically what this is this is an edit, edited version of those uh, uh, programs or functions that you could find in the Wi-Fi library okay so I have tested it first it's not like I could use the uh, library or the functions in the Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi library without any editing because it, it throws a lot of error and I'm really not too sure what the error is about okay and also the library is quite old so I'm not too sure if all the functions within the library are still usable some may require a bit of editing here and there to make it work okay so uh, let's go to the next part of the code so the next part of the code it basically checks on the status so for as long as the status is not connect uh, connected it will attempt to connect with this uh, you know with this name of the Wi-Fi connection and also with this password okay so once it is done, it will break the while loop and then it will say you are connected to the network and it will print the current net and also will print the Wi-Fi data. Okay, so in while loop, we're just repeating print current net. Now let's look at what these two functions will do. Okay, so first over here, we have print Wi-Fi data. So Wi-Fi data, basically it prints the Wi-Fi local IP address and after that it prints the MAC address right so the MAC uh, needs to be stored in a in a like array of bytes which is uh, six arrays right it starts with zero up until five and all that need to be converted to hexadecimals which will then finally construct a string of MAC okay 
so uh, this is how it looks in in the Wi-Fi data now let's look into print current net so print current net is basically printing out the Wi-Fi name over here and then followed by the signal strength okay so let's try uploading this program okay so uh, an another one point that I might have missed out so I assume that this is already known and it's a very basic thing uh, you need to make sure that your bot has been already added over here and also you have your how to say your additional bot managers to add to ESP32 okay so this is already installed as you can see so this is a very basic thing that you need to do before you work with your uh, node MCU ESP32 all right so since I have done that uh, you know I'm not going to do all that but I assume it's a very basic thing and everybody knows it okay now my board is is named as do it ESP32 dev kit version 1 so uh, for you though you are using the same node uh, MCU ESP32 it might be slightly different at times okay or you could we might just have a different Wi-Fi module right so uh, what I would recommend is to always use the guides from your reliable and trusted vendor but before that first of all you need to make sure you buy your uh, your electronic components from your trusted vendors so that in case if you need any form of support you can always reach out to them and and most often they would always have this kind of information so it would go a long way if you buy uh, these components from your trusted vendors okay so based on the guide that has been given to me by my local vendor here so these are the name that I should use and the speed is 115 200 and then 80 megahertz this would remain to none and my port is at COM17 so you can uh, check this in your device manager you know what let me just open it So this is my device manager so I'm gonna to go to ports you see I have it over here okay so it has always been 17 for me for you it might be different so just be sure to, to you know to select the right port okay now we are going to upload this code uh, there is one important thing that I must tell when you're about to upload the code so which is to press the boot button during the code upload okay so when you should actually do it is uh, when you click upload and then it's compiling sketch right then you should press the press and hold the boot button until you see the word connecting see now the connect you can see the connecting just now with few dots so once that word connect appears then you just you know stop pressing that button okay again this is another one basic information when it comes to uploading code into your node mcu so that is why i'm not showing it here because i assume everybody most of us already know okay uploading is almost done okay so now i'm clicking the serial monitor let's see what the output that we get okay attempting to connect wi-fi which is over here and let's see so it remained there so i assume there could be some problem with the wi-fi so again it's attempting to connect wi-fi and uh, oh boy kept on attempting so now is it connected you know what let me just hit the boot button okay so now attempting to connect wi-fi uh, let's see if it could connect now okay you are connected to the network ssid is electronic eternity and uh, you know uh, you could of course you could 
put a print line over here then it would look better right so signal strength is 35 IP address is this and uh, MAC address is this okay so SSID electronics so this is what we see in the loop over here it executes the print current net again so it will throw out SSID and also give you the signal strength so as you can see the Wi-Fi name and also the signal strength is being repeated over here for I think every 10 seconds okay so I guess that is all okay so right so as, as you can see the code is working okay now let's look at the next part of our basic tutorial so in this tutorial we will be looking into uh, how to set uh, static IP okay so uh, static IP will be uh, might be useful when you have a server or when you have your node MCU configured as a server right so that if you want to connect to the server uh, you would always know what the IP is right so uh, because IP can be dynamic at times so because if you had to uh, restart your router or anything then uh, most probably the IP would change but by doing this uh, every time you boot your server which is basically booting your ESP32 uh, it will always set to the same IP right so uh, that's how this becomes uh, useful for us so let's look into the code so we have the same structure over here right it's just that this time around we don't have the status okay so we have a function called initialize Wi-Fi in it Wi-Fi so it sets the Wi-Fi mode to station and then next we have the Wi-Fi name and the password and it attempts to connect to the Wi-Fi so for as long as it is not connected you know it, it will keep on creating a dot so it would make it look like it's buffering or loading all right so once it is connected then it will break the while loop it will print out the original IP which is at first and then we will uh, okay so this is the original IP so this is basically initialization uh, which we'll, we could see over here uh, we could also see the signal strength right uh, which is okay so it's there for some reason I think maybe because I want to create a separation all right next is for us to set our static IP address okay so IP address is 192.168.1 so uh, how do you know what IP address you need to set is it's always such that we would change the uh, you know last digits right so if your IP address is currently one uh, 92168 uh, and 1 it's over here 10 you maybe you could play around with the three digits or you could just change the entire thing I think it would still work because after all it's just an IP assignment uh, assignment all right however the gateway I recommend that you use the another you know, original gateway because I think uh, if you change the gateway as you wish it might not work right the same applies for uh, subnet as well just follow the original subnet and change the IP all right uh, primary DNS secondary secondary DNS is optional but I just kept it there so as you can know this is the you know common DNS that we use uh, next if the uh, if setting the new static IP fail then it would print STA fail to configure right station fail to configure so basically this is the command that will run to set all this new static IP along with the attributes such as gateway, subnet, primary DNS, secondary DNS. Alright, so once it is done, it will print out the customized IP and it also print out the local uh, sorry, it, it will just print out the new Wi-Fi IP, right? You have a string over here named customized IP, and then the actual IP would be populated right next to it okay so uh, with that being said let's now try to upload this code so as usual when you're uploading you need to press the boot button 
the moment you see the word connecting you have to stop pressing it so basically just release the button when you see uh, when you see the word connecting in the terminal over here okay it is uploading as usual taking a while let's wait for a bit okay almost done okay now it is done so let's open the serial monitor okay let me hit the reset button so it's attempting to connect to the Wi-Fi okay so connecting to the Wi-Fi once it is done it will show the original IP which is 172 and the signal strength RSSI. I think I purposely put this over here just to create that you know separation between these two so now you could see the customized IP is 192.168.1.111 which is similar to what we have set over here okay so like I mentioned this would be useful for uh, any applications that you want to have specific IP for example like uh, uh, node MCU acting as a web server all right so uh, with that being said so we have come to the end of the tutorial so I hope this uh, video is helpful so we have learned how to get uh, MAC address we have also learned how to get uh, signal strength we also learned how to uh, set static IPs right uh, while at the same time learning how to uh, use this uh, Wi-Fi module with basic functions okay so I hope you learned I hope that this video will be useful for you to learn further about ESP32 which of course can get more than more complicated than this okay with that we have come to the end of the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you